Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Evan Lazarus. I'm the CEO of T3 Live, and I am fortunate enough to do today's daily recap. And as you can probably see, I'm not in the T3 Live studio. I'm in my home office in Jersey, uh, doing a little bit more of a relaxed Friday recap. I want us to take a few minutes today. I want to talk about the market. I want to talk about some of the volatility, some of the, the two-way trading that we've seen over the last couple of weeks. For those that take a shorter-term approach, um, probably a very, very advantageous trading environment. For those that really are more directional or longer-term longer term oriented, probably a little more frustrating, I, I would imagine. If you, if you go back to Wednesday when I did the morning call, I talked a little bit about uh, the market coming off into major support and a possible bounce in the cards or some consolidation over the next couple of days. Well, fast forward to today, and that's kind of what happened. Um, so we're going to go and we're going to look at the market, take a look at a couple of stocks that uh, we've, we've set up and off the charts. So if you're not getting that off the charts nightly newsletter with those trade ideas, do yourself a favor, um, plug yourself in. Some really, really good uh, trade ideas found in that, in that letter um, almost every night uh, featured from you know, various mentors, educators, uh, Scott Redler, Mark Sperling, some of the, 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 the usual names that, that you see on the VTF um, and really, really can help set yourself up for um, each and every trading day. And we're going to get into that. So let's start here um, with the market first. We're going to look at the spiders and we're going to pop over to my chart. And what you see here is that on um, Wednesday, right back down here, the market had found this you know, big move down coming into, and I highlighted this big support area, and I went back in time, and I said this will probably act as some sort of short-term um, area of support uh, as we had come off pretty far, pretty fast. Snapping back Thursday into Friday into this, what is now a declining 21 EMA here on the daily chart, an area for those that have taken the active trader strategy course should know could pose significant short-term resistance. So what do we know? Well, the market definitively have definitively found resistance back up here. We can see a couple of touches of this. This is SPY 185 zone uh, cascading down back to the low 170s, now snapping back. We've snapped back, I would imagine, about 50% from highs to lows. So if I look at my fibs here, you can see just about a 50% retracement. And I'll zoom in uh, the 50% mark being right around here. So. What do we know? Big sell-off, two-day snapback. We've already recaptured 50% of that whole down move. Next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, will probably be very pivotal in terms of what next. Do we set up to maybe make new highs? Do we possibly set up to roll over? Tough to say at this point. I think any astute technician has to look at the evidence objectively and try to prepare themselves over the next coming days uh, for what this market might give us. Now, what we've seen, if I just remove some of this data. Let's go back over to the chart. I'm going to go broader. Uh, we're going to look at a weekly. And I love to look at weeklies because it just it gives me a sense of clarity. So what do we know about the market overall? Well, we know that, let's say, since late 2012, uh, we can define the market as having held this trend line. You can see every pullback, you know, the two or three pullbacks that we've had over the last year or two, um, making higher highs and higher lows. Each peak and each low higher than the previous peak and low. So will that be the case here with this pullback that we saw over the last few weeks? You can see again the last three weeks selling off, piercing into that uptrend line and then you know snapping back over the last two days. So on the weekly we have the 21 EMA here at this white line. So still could see a little more upside early in the next week. Uh, but I think you need to be on caution Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as this area presents itself now in a very different light. So for those that are really trading this market objectively and technically, pay attention to your data points and what happens over the next couple of sessions. Let's pop over and let's look at a couple of symbols, stock specific. I'm going to go back to the daily time frame. And we're going to focus on some of these off the charts trades. These are trade ideas that have been featured. Here's Tesla. These are all daily charts. And Tesla is an active trade. Um, you know, through these highs, you can see today following through. But back up here into prior resistance uh, with Tesla again, a lot of resistance up here. This is where this, you know, down move essentially started. So I would look to lock in some profits or, you know, any more upside we have here prior, prior highs up here around just under 200. So 
Um, again, possibilities that we peak back up into that upper 190 range. So we'll keep an eye on that one, but a nice little short-term trade there. Micron, a little bit of a cheaper name. We talked about Micron on Wednesday. MU uh, breaking out through that 24 zone um, Thursday. A little bit of consolidation here on Friday, but still looks decent. Hershey's, HSY, uh, breaking out, but you know, piercing up into prior highs. So keep an eye on what Hershey's does over the next coming sessions as it now tested previous resistance and having trouble there. So will it consolidate up here over the next couple of sessions? Will it pull back? Uh, only time will tell. But keep an eye on Hershey's Salesforce, CRM. And we can see Salesforce, again, showing good relative strength. I talked about this one on Wednesday. Uh, while the market had that pretty substantial sell-off over the last couple of weeks, you can see Salesforce holding its highs and piercing today, although it didn't close exactly uh, the way I would have liked it, you can see relatively still strong to the market, so worth watching there. Baker Hughes, another one mentioned uh, in off the charts and even mentioned on Wednesday. And I said if the market, you know, finds a uh, finds some support, we see a bounce in the market, you might see some new highs in Baker Hughes. And exactly Thursday, Friday, that's exactly what you got. So, so like I said, some really, really very targeted trade ideas for those that are still seeking opportunity long. And for those that are looking for shorts, again, off the chart solves that problem. It gives you a couple of uh, short ideas. And I'm going to recap some of them here. GameStop, GME. A little bit of a bounce as the stocks, you know, had a pretty big sell-off. You can see from uh, basically, late, you know, December into February, pretty dramatic move. Stock almost taking a 50% haircut overall, uh, but still acting and looking very weak. A little bit of a three-day bounce here. Let's see what it does into um, what should be some level of resistance uh, over the next couple of days. Best Buy, another retailer. Retailer been retailers. Most of them have been pretty weak. Again, with the market snapping back a little bit, but overall, still looking like it's not the beacon of strength it used to be. Um, and probably, may short term, I would say that the downtrend. You know, we found a little bit of support down here. Let's see if this can amount. Probably a trade back up into this 27 area before you know I would consider looking at this on the short side again. And CRUS, a little bit of a slower mover, uh, big sell off here. We had the trade through 19 on the short side. Uh, we got a trade down to the roughly the high 16s. A little bit of a snapback over the last couple of sessions, but nothing profound. This stock to me in more time looks like it probably wants lower. Um, so keep an eye on that one as well if you're on the short side. So. Again, two-way action, you got to be objective in this market. I would look to have trade ideas set up for both the long and the short uh, for those that are trying to be a little more tactical uh, given the volatility. Now, what really excites me is the fact that we launched uh, an education promotion. Um, and for those that are not aware, if you click on the home page of T3 Live, which I'm going to bring up, you can see here we have a big, nice ad talking about our top three selling education courses. Now, T3 Live has been in the business of helping traders develop their skills, harness their skills by doing it with real traders. All of our educators, all of our mentors, as you know from those that are active on our virtual trading floor, we not only teach it, but we do it, um, which I think really makes the education a, a unique proposition for most. Now, education from somebody that has a lot of trading experience, I can tell you, is paramount. And I'm not saying that to try to promote anything. I'm telling you that from experience. I know that from years of working with students, from traveling the country, doing speaking engagements, just talking to people about you know how hard it is to trade and how difficult it is. The one common theme that I think connects most unsuccessful traders is that they don't start off on the right foot. They don't ever develop a foundation. And for those that have spent time with me when I was a part of the Active Trader Strategy course, you'll know that I always tell everybody you focus on the process, not the outcome. And the reason I think that traders find it so difficult or new traders or even intermediate term traders fall on such hard times is because they don't ever develop the right foundation. And what we've done is we've basically asked you, you know, where do you think the most value is from the T3 Live education? And the answer we got was in this, these three courses, the active, the active trader strategy course, the Trade the Morning Strategy course, which used to be the Momentum Trader course, has been renamed and rebranded as the Trade the Morning Strategy course taught by Mike. 
uh, Lee and Steve LeVay, the Active Trader Strategy Course taught by Rich Nunziata, and of course, Mr. Rob Smith, uh, who teaches the In the Black Breakout Strategy Course. All three are really, really different, but very, very engaging. And I think depending on the style of trade you're looking to learn, or maybe you don't know what's a best what's best fit for you, all, all three approaches, you know, are designed to help. And these courses, while very, very enriching in what they give you, are certainly not a, by any means something that you can expect to turn you into a profitable trader. They're a great foundation. And then we suggest, you know, moving into the mentoring, depending on the course you take with the, with the mentors. You know, Benjamin Franklin once said that, um, I wrote it down, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And I don't think there are truer words. Um, if you get into trading, you are a month in, a week in, a year in, even 10 years in, and you're not moving forward. You're not happy with your results, whether it's because of your own mental demons or <clears throat> because you're consistently blaming the market or you don't really know what defines you as a trader, meaning you don't know your identity. You know, every trader needs to have an identity. What, what makes Mark Sperling uh, unique on the VTF is that he knows what his trade is. What makes Scott Redler unique is that these guys can define their expertise. Mike and Steve, they know exactly how they do what they do and they live and they effectively, they, they, they swear by it each and every day. Same thing with Rob and the same thing with Richie. So I think what makes the T3 Live education a little bit unique is that you're getting it from the perspective of people that do it every single day, day in and day out. Um, so consider it because it's a limited time offer. It is going to go away at the end of this month. And the, the discount that we're offering on this promotion is substantial relative to what these courses are individually. Now you can buy them as a bundle. Um, and you can see here, you can buy all three for $5.99. Most of these courses retail for individually for way higher than that or you can buy the course itself for 249 so depending on whatever your appetite is you know take a moment to consider are you getting the results do you need a little do you need a little help um, are you moving forward in, in, in what it is you do um, like I said the, this is now digital so all the courses are going to be delivered via secure PDF all online um, you know, so I, I, I implore you for those that are, you know, thinking about education or you're not where you want to be, or maybe you're saying to yourself, you know what, I'm just not getting the most out of this market. And from someone who's traded bear markets, bull markets, extremely volatile markets, and I've seen it all, um, I can tell you that the one thing that I have that nobody can ever take away from me is I know how to approach every single market with a different style, a different strategy, a different thought process. I know when I want to be, you know, leaning more towards the short side, how to trade a bear market. I know, you know, when I was trading, how to approach a bull, a bull market, the characteristics of such. Uh, so really take time to, to, to at least consider, do a deep dive. We put together some pretty interesting videos that highlight not only the course, but the educators themselves that I think will help, you know, help you make a determination about, you know, what it is the offering is and is it, is it right for you. That being said, um, I'm always available for questions. For those that are you know, contemplating education or just want help, um, you can always get me at elazarus at t3live, E-L-A-Z-A-R-U-S at t3live, uh, or education at t3live. I implore you, think about um, the education today or over the weekend or what have you. We're always here to help. Um, and I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will hopefully talk to you early next week. Have a good one.